Milo Yiannopoulos, Larry Wilmore go head-to-head -head on Mark. New York while conservative provocateur Milo Yiannopoulos insulted comics Lena Dunham, Leslie Jones, Amy Schumer, and Sarah Silverman. His appearance on HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher was relatively tame at least until the television cameras were turned off. It was later, during an online-only overtime segment of Mars Friday Night Show, that two of Mars' three panelists hurled expletives at the Breitbart News senior editor. Mars' booking of Yanapolos, author of the upcoming book Dangerous, drew attention earlier this week when journalist Jeremy Scahill backed out of the show because of his hateful diatribes. The conservative gadfly has become a lightning rod. His planned speech at the University of California, Berkeley, was cancelled earlier this month when protests erupted. Marr, a free speech advocate, told Yiannopoulos that he thought he was colossally wrong on most issues, but if I barred everyone from the show who I thought was colossally wrong, I would be talking to myself. Yiannopoulos called Marr his favorite liberal and directed most of his ire at female comedians. Your side has gone insane, he said. The Democrats are the party of Lena Dunham. These people are hideous, mental people. The more the American people see of Lena Dunham, the fewer votes the Democratic Party is going to get. Responded Mar about the girl's creator, let's not pick on fellow HBO stars. The Breitbart editor said Schumer and Silverman used to be funny before they contracted feminism. After the subject was brought up by Mar, he renewed hostilities with Jones that had begun with his review of the Ghostbusters film. Yanopoulos Twitter account was suspended last year after a series of racially insensitive tweets were directed at Jones, who is black. On Mars' show, he called Jones barely literate. Still, the interview segment featured few harsh exchanges with Mar, and Yanopoulos was not included in a panel discussion that featured comedian Larry Wilmore, author, and counter-terrorism expert Malcolm Nansen Yu. S. Red. Jack Kingston, a Georgia Republican. But online, Yanopoulos joined the other three to answer questions from viewers. That's when things got interesting. The starting off point was when Yanopoulos defended his criticism of a transgender person and saying, without offering evidence, the transgender people were involved in a disproportionate number of sex crimes. Wilborn objected, saying that reminded him of the attitudes people directed at gays and blacks to demonize them in society. He noted that for a long time, homosexuality was considered a disorder. Maybe it is, said Yanapolos, who is gay. Maybe you are, Wilborn said, but most homosexuals are not. Nance observed that Yanopoulos seemed confused about who and what he was. When Mar tried to referee, Yanopoulos said that he'd always seemed to have awful people on the show, who are so stupid. That's when Wilmore exploded, telling Yanopoulos to go F yourself. Mar defended Nance, telling Yanopoulos that this guy has done things that allow you to live. When the oddity of an openly gay man being seen as a leader of the alt-right movement was pointed out, Yanopoulos said that the worst people on the far left and far right all hate me. Retorted Wilmore, I think you're leaving out a lot of people. Nance added another expletive when the Breitbart editor said he had no problems with the issue of President Donald Trump and ties to Russian, profanely dismissing him because he was not an American. Yanopoulos is British. It stopped there. Kingston declined a chance to be the third panelist to swear at Yanapolos.